Yeah, hello out there. Welcome here in the TV studio of Mac in Dortmund. Today I want to tell you about gant care, about how to transport, how to clean, how to handle your rifle, that it works properly in training and competition. The story starts with the case. Normally, meanwhile, when you buy a rifle, you get a good box like this one here this is not too expensive and it is this i think is three or four years old it's a really long life uh, you can trust it if you have it in your in your car or everywhere anywhere on the shooting range it's stable enough to sit on it and to throw it if you fly uh, to an international competition with an aeroplane, it may be an idea to get the more expensive Bailey cases or however they come from, uh, but they are very expensive, very expensive, they are very heavy, so for the normal situation this one is good enough, light enough and stable. So let's take a look inside. You open your box, if you press it, it's easy to open and let's see what's inside. So this is my gun holder, we will see it later. This is something to um, wish the rifle with. And the first thing which may be specific is that we put the rifle in a cotton uh, tool, something, uh, a natural material that takes up water. And this is something Steffi, our rifle girl, told me, uh, the plastic material in the rifle box is beautiful to hold and to stabilize the rifle, but it has little parts, little plastic particles, and you don't want to have them in your barrel, you don't want to have them in your iris aperture, in your filters, you don't want to have them in your absorber. So for protection, you just take any uh, piece of cloth and cover it when you put it into the plastic uh, frame of your rifle box. The next thing, um, we cover the iris, maybe the duplex or the front side tunnel uh, of the diopter with these beautiful plastic uh, covers, which uh, makes sure that no dust or any other material, humidity, comes into it and uh, unsharpens the filter or the opening. The same here at the tunnel. Just put it on after shooting and the thing is safe and clean. The next thing uh, to show you uh, I transport the rifle closed because this is the best uh, position for pressure. If you put it in like this, because maybe your safety flag is inside, then it's very sensitive against pressure. So when you transport the rifle, close it, close the barrel, bring uh, this part close to the rifle itself. Don't forget to click it uh, that the uh, mechanism is out of tension. Next sentence, next idea. Uh, Steffi told me very important. Don't touch your rifle at the barrel because if you touch the barrel you bring tension and stress to all these holding mechanisms. You don't want to uh, move the barrel into the clamps. So whenever you 
uh, you move your rifle, take it on the stock. The stock is made to hold your rifle. If possible, no contact to the barrel. Cleaning the air rifle. If you want to clean your air rifle, the first thing is get it in a stable situation. So we have this beautiful stand here. It's 30 grams, no weight. You can put it in your rifle box. And when you get your rifle in, it's automatically stable. This is if you want to uh, check the screws or if you want to check your sight. Uh, in this way, you have it always in a secure, stable position. Cleaning the barrel of an air rifle is not complicated. Small ball means a lot of trouble before the explosion of the shot gives some resistances like lead, like dust, chemical reactions and so on. So air rifle compared to small bore is easy because there is only a metal barrel and a little lead uh, going through sometimes. So we do not expect more than a dust of the Diabolus. There is different methods to clean the barrel. We prefer this easy one. It is just a string and the string has an opening here. And we take this cotton uh, strings, the small ones, I take four or five and I bring these five cotton strings through the, through the eye here and I got something like this to go through the barrel. Now I put the start of the string into the chamber of the bullet, bring it forward and it hopefully comes out in front. There it is, I receive it. Now I take a little care that this starter gets uh, clear into the barrel. And now, with not too much energy, I can get it through slowly and you feel the resistance. At the end of this procedure, I take a look on the uh, little cotton strings. They started white and here we see nearly nothing because I cleaned it a few days ago. Uh, but normally you will see here now a dark uh, field. Uh, you can see how much dirt was in your barrel. Maybe then you go a little bit on and repeat it and see that the second or the third march through is uh, clean. If there is no more dark on your strings, this is enough for the barrel. Um, never use anything else than these two things. So please, no oil, no cleaning, uh, miracle substances you get for small bore, nothing into the barrel and as well nothing into the trigger mechanism uh, because air rifles don't need it and oil will change everything. No oil around the rifle. Uh, if you want to do something for the outside of the barrel, here we have a carbon cover which is uh, automatically clean. If you have a metal barrel, uh, maybe gun metal, you can use an easy uh, rubber of cotton to clean it. If it's humid, 
if you sweat a lot in your hand it may be uh, necessary to do so but normally all you have to do uh, to clean your air rifle is this simple way maybe you know these little uh, things of um, I think they are cotton as well we call it fields in Germany don't have the English word uh, you know them you put them in and you just shoot them out Oops. This is uh, a nice idea and it's uh, easy to do and it's uh, the, the simple way of cleaning. But from our point of view, if something goes through with a very high speed, we are not sure it really cleans the way through. The other thing, if you shoot it out, you can't control it. You normally don't see is it dark or not or whatever. And there is another idea because this, uh, this little pellets lose dust and whatever, it can go into the airways of your rifle. So just uh, our idea, use this system, it's the best you can get. Yeah, we already said 500 shots four or five strings, this is all you have to do for your air rifle.